let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. In Cincinnati, Ohio, where customs officials say they seized more than 50 pounds of marijuana inside a tombstone being shipped from Jamaica to England through the U.S. city of Cincinnati. U.S. Customs and Borders Protection Officer made the discovery with the help of a narcotics detection dog at the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. Officers questioned why someone would ship a tombstone from Kingston, Jamaica to London, England. The tombstone bears the name of a 35-year-old man with an inscription that reads, your place no one can fill. Authorities estimate the marijuana street value is about $52,000. They have no suspects. And the state-owned Petrotren refinery in Trinidad and Tobago says it's returning to normal operations after a two-week shutdown caused by an electrical power failure. Energy Minister Carolyn Sipersad Bakan says last week's shutdown had affected the company's export to the Caribbean. Petrotren produces an average of 100,000 barrels of oil per day. And in Guyana, Guyana's police chief Henry Green says attractive gold prices are fueling armed attacks on mining camps in the country's interior. He says that prices are drawing criminals to mining areas under the guises of being workers. Gold is currently fetching more than $12,000 per ounce in the world's market. And in Jamaica, Yandai Phillips, the 24-year-old beauty, finished behind the winner, Jamina Navarti of Mexico. Miss Navarti was the first to answer an interview question Monday night and the last of the 83 contestants standing in the pageant on Las Vegas' Strip. The five finalists were Miss Mexico, Jamina Navarti, Miss Australia, Jacinta Campbell, Miss Jamaica, Yandai Phillips, Miss Ukraine, Anna Poslovsky, and Miss Philippines, Venus Raj. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. Now some vital information from the Office of Highway Safety. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Barbara Fleming. I'm the Alcohol Safety Coordinator at the Office of Highway Safety. Our office, in conjunction with the Virgin Islands Police Department, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and the Department of Transportation are conducting a national crackdown on impaired driving, which commences on August 20th to September 6th, 2010. We ask everyone, please do not drink and drive. We know you like to enjoy your holidays. Once again, if you're gonna drink, please have a designated driver. Or if you should see someone on the road that's impaired, that's driving impaired, please call 911. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Please remember that the police department will be out there cracking down on drunk driving. Remember, the life that you save might be your very own. Cops everywhere are stepping up enforcement and cracking down like never before. Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Sir, have you been drinking this evening? Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Make no mistake, you will get caught and you will be arrested over the limit under arrest. And thanks to the Office of Highway Safety for that information. When we come back from this break, Coop's got your sports 411.